Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my gimmick puppet deck for Master Duel and um, current ban list. So I like to run three Humpty Dumpty, three Terror Baby, three Jury Doll of course, it's your main bread and butter, Bisque Doll as well, three of those. Uh, magnet doll as well and then for your last bit of monsters you want to run your spring spirit which is huge for the spells you want to run let's go into some staples here won't hurt to have a Raigeki. monster reborn's fine bullish burials you need that effectively um, machine dupe for your gimmick puppet jury doll and your uh, terror babies anything with low attack here it's like a third of your monsters so it's a big deal uh, then for draw power you want trade-ins because obviously they're all level 8 um, and since these are all the dark uh, attribute Alert or uh, gimmick puppets, you can run Alert of Darkness. So this alone gives you pretty pretty good consistency. You shouldn't run into that many issues. Uh, as far as the rest of the spells, you want to run two condolence puppets. You could run more. I, I find two is fine. It's just a an additional foolish burial, basically. Could even be huge. Uh, if they have a lot of monsters from the extra deck out. Um, I also run two Junk Puppets, which is basically the Gimmick Puppet Monster Born variant. Um, and after that, you want to run, in my opinion, um, an Xyz Import, just to clear the field a little bit you don't have a lot of negates in this deck so if you get screwed over um and the opponent has a huge negate board you you have to clear that board so exceeds import you could run one to three of them depending on your you know your taste um but as far as the rest of the deck you want your rank up magics I run a Numeron Force and an Argent Chaos Force, as well as a Quick Chaos for the battle phase ups. Um, from here, it gets a little weird because some people run three Zeal Construction to search for the rank ups more readily. I run one just because I don't really see much of a need to run more. Unless, like, say you have a bunch of jury dolls in your hand that you don't want there, uh, you can use this to get them back to the deck to then machine dupe them out. Because um, it only summons from the deck. But other than that, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But having the ability to search for a rank up could actually, you know, save the day there. Um, other people might run uh, Escape from the Dark Dimension, which lets you bring a banished dark monster back and since you're going to be doing that a lot with Drury Doll, that's actually a really good card for this. I don't usually run it, but there are times when say you get Raigekut or field wiped in some way. The only thing you can do is bring out one Drury Doll because it's a once per turn effect. And if you don't top deck another monster, you're basically stuck in that endless loop until you're out of monsters. This way you can at least, you know, build up your board again. So it's something to think about. Uh, other people, since it's a dark machine-based deck, people run Heavy Metal Raiders. I don't know why you would necessarily. Or Desperado Barrel Dragon for the, the field pop. Um, I don't personally see it as worth it, especially because it looks like it's a mandatory effect. I've never used it, per se. Um, just toss three coins, destroy face-up monster in the field, up to the number of heads, and then draw... If it was three hits, but I mean it's a free it's a free twenty eight hundred monster if if a dark monster you control is destroyed. So um, that is up to your taste as well. 
I think one or two wouldn't hurt necessarily, but you won't be able to search for the, well, I guess you could search for a level four. It's not bad. I think, I think it's, I think it's usable. Um, if that is in your taste. And also, since everything's dark, you could also run, um, Super Poly and some Starving Venom Dragons in the, uh, extra deck. But the extra deck gets a little tight, so that might not be worth it. But Super Polys can also clear the board, like Xyz Import. If you're running into problems with that, it's something to think about as well. As for traps, just to clean up or finish up the deck here, um, we want three Puppet Parade. That's your main setup card if you're going, you know, first. Or even if you're late game, you can come back with that because you can pull a Rank Up Magic from the deck and just straight up... Uh, reverse sweep um as far as the gates there's not a lot in this deck now the extra deck really focuses on the gates but because most of them are numbers monsters you could just run three or uh i run two numbers uh rule no not numbers rule what is that i run three numbers protect or two numbers protection and that is my main deck. As far as the extra deck, it gets a little weird because I like to run at least one of each. Some people just skip out on Gimmick Puppet uh, Leo altogether. I think he's cool. Um, and there are situations where that might be your out. Uh, Dark Strings is your main monster. That's the Chaos version. You want three of Dark Strings. I think one Grinder's okay. One uh, Giant Grinder as well. Um... Giganta's doll is, is massive if you can get him out, which you should be able to. Um, and he lets you steal opponent's monsters. Uh, I believe it does target, though. Yeah, so that that is that is a problem. Uh, you also want the Link monster as well for more uh, ditching to the graveyard. As well as you can just search to add to your hand in Special Summon. So it's a, it's a huge deal as well. Then, once we get to the miscellaneous monsters that I like to run here. I like Zombie Stein as well. Uh, two level 8 dark monsters, perfect target for this deck. Uh, 4,500 beater. Um, sometimes you can even straight up uh, summon him, and then summon uh, strings, and then rank up into dark strings. And just nuke the field uh, and deal 45 to your opponent. And that that wins a lot of games. And as far as the the rest of the rank eights, you could run like Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon, or um, Queen of the Night. I think her name is. Yeah, Queen of the Night. You can run two of those. It lets you lock down spells and traps. If you're super far ahead, you could run it. But three level eights is kind of expensive. And if you can just nuke the field or, you know, swarm the opponent, I don't think you'll have that much of an issue. But it is something to think about. And now I'll go into the combo part of the video uh, after this. Alright guys, so for the combo section of this video, I was going to show with my actual cards so I could do it a little more manually um, but I don't have a good camera set up right now so we're just gonna go against the Pharaoh here and see what we can pull off I was gonna go into ranked but I didn't want to waste anybody's time if I was gonna have to talk through what I was doing um, so let's go alright here we go Making that play already. He gets a free Mahat as well.
Okay, we're gonna condolence puppet. Send Dreary Doll to the graveyard. The set puppet parade. We're going to. We're gonna normal Terror Baby. Bring Dreary Doll out. And special our Magnet Doll. Then we're going to link into. Chimera Doll. Search. We're gonna get another Jury Doll. We're gonna add it to the hand, then we're gonna special summon from our hand. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty can bring out Jury Doll now, but I'm actually gonna bring out a second Humpty Dumpty. Um, then I'm going to banish the Terror Baby to get Jury Doll back. Next, we're going to overlay Humpty Dumpty's into Gigantus Doll. We're going to detach two materials, take control of two monsters he controls. We're going to tribute Gigantus Doll to make everything level 8. Now we're going to overlay into Give me a puppet of strings. Actually, two give me a puppet of strings. Who cares? Special summon Gear Spring Spirit. Make apprentice level or zero attack. That's condolence puppet for no reason. Cool. Alright. We're gonna swing and win. <laughs> 